Welcome back to Pop Culture Explosion. I'm Mike, and I'm here with Paul. Here at Pop Culture Explosion, we go back to our roots, and Mike, what are our roots? What was our very first PCE review that we did? Hmm, that would be Deadpool. Deadpool. And today, we are talking about Deadpool 2. So we're going to... This is just going to be a spoiler-rich conversation. So, so let's first start with the synopsis. Uh, basically, we have the beginning with Deadpool. He's fighting crime. He's he's being contracted to kill bad guys, and then bam, Vanessa dies. Well, that kind of sucked. Um, but hey, there's redemption. He finds a kid. He joins the X Men. Well, he was basically an X Men trainee. Trainee. But he was still an X-Men, right? Um, oh, that goes to hell in a handbasket. Now he's in prison. Um, he's in prison. He loses his abilities. He's basically a prison bitch for, well, we don't know for how long, but it was a long time. Then he gets, uh, then, he, then, he, then he meets Cable. Now Cable shows up and he's going to kill this kid. Why is he killing this kid? I don't know why he's killing this kid, but damn it, he wants to kill this kid. And Deadpool's like, no, you're not going to kill this kid. Well, then Deadpool fights Cable. Uh, Deadpool gets beat up, and he makes some DC reference. He makes some X-Men references. He makes some MCU references. He's actually making a few Thanos references, and we all love Deadpool because he breaks the fourth wall. Well, then guess what? Deadpool escapes. He gets his powers back, and he wants to form a superpower group called X-Force. And... That's when all craziness happens because X Force does not do too well. We lose all of X Force, X Force, except for what character Mike survives the uh, epic, epic uh, hero landing. It was uh, Domino. Domino, thank you. Okay, Domino because she has this amazing power called luck. Well, there's this huge fight between Domino, uh, between um, Cable, between. Uh, Death pool, and then boom, that happens. And then we fast forward, we get to the very pedophilia place where Deadpool rescues Fire Fist. All hell breaks loose again. There's redemption, there's time travel, and there is one epic, epic end credit scene. I'm tired, Mike. That was good. So that's the synopsis. So let's let's dive more into this movie. Mike. What did you like about this movie? What didn't I like about it? You know, it was great from start to finish. It was a smile on the face the whole time. Uh, well, except for when, you know, all the scene with Vanessa. I can't believe they did that. But that added some really great motivation and heavy weight to push the story forward, especially, you know, driving Deadpool's character. Um, so I thought that was that was just phenomenal and you know the humor is back i think that um they really kept the flavor of the first film with this you know the one thing i learned about deadpool is he is at his best when he has everything taken away uh when we look at deadpool one uh he lost his good looks he lost his cancer he basically had to remove himself from everything that he loves because of what happened to him during the transformation of Deadpool. Uh, fast forward, he loses Vanessa. And he goes into this huge depression mode. And I think him battling that and then finding Fire Fist as his form of redemption, that was a really good arc. Yeah. Yeah, and it was like, how how are they going to do that, you know? And I think they pulled it off very well. Story. I thought the writing was brilliant. Um, I thought the comedy was brilliant. Uh, all the, the throwbacks and the head nods and yeah, I I don't know. I I don't really have a bad thing to say about it. You know, when when Deadpool when the cast was first uh, announced, I was really hoping that uh, Stephen Lang from Avatar was going to be uh, Cable. Uh, right. He looks like Cable. He has the build for Cable. And I'm like, oh my God, he'd make a great Cable. And then we get Josh Brolin. And I'm like, who the hell is this guy? Oh my God, Josh Brolin, you nailed this out of the park. You were amazing as Cable. Uh, I'm ashamed at what I said in the past. Redemption, sir, you are Cable. And, and, and I just love you for it. You were a great Thanos. You were a better Cable. Yeah, no, it's absolutely 
nailed it. I enjoyed it. Uh, I thought, I, you know, Cable was probably my highlight of the movie, um, for sure. You know, and, and I was actually very surprised. I thought um, Domino nailed it out of the park as well. I wasn't sure about her at the beginning because of the you know the comic origin. Um, I, I'm I'm going to destroy casting, her name, Zazie Beetz uh, again. When when I first when I first saw her cast as Domino, again I'm like, yeah, I'm not why, seen that. why, she was awesome. Yeah, uh, she again, was great. Ryan Ryan Reynolds, you obviously see you have an eye for talent that us mere mortals do not have. <laughs> so no, she <laughs> Domino. It's, it's a toss-up for me. Who was the MVP? Was it Domino? Was it Cable? Um, Ryan Reynolds, in my humble opinion, yes, he was driving this, but we have this standard for him already. We didn't know about Cable or Domino, and both those two characters really complemented this movie in relations to the insanity of Cable. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, the insanity of Deadpool. Right, and you know, I enjoyed the whole. Um, we got a whole bunch of kind of superheroes, but there were some comedic, uh, you know, side story B, C level characters, so, throwaway characters. So, so let's let's talk about X Force for a second. So there was this huge lead up of the X Force, and what happens to the X Force? There was this big, <laughs> momentous, you know, this tryout, this this motivational speech. We can do this. We got this. You know, the whole crossing of the arms. Um, we get Peter, which, by the way, I think Peter's, like, my second favorite X-Force uh, <laughs> character. Uh, and they all die gruesome deaths. <laughs> the, the, talk about expectation subversion. I mean, no one saw that coming. Yeah, that was a treat. Uh, and it's, it's, you know, they dedicated this whole sequence, you know, the whole audition, and then they, they're going to go out on the mission, and then, then they all die. You know? <laughs> I mean, and, and, but, but the thing is, though, the X-Force was such a huge part of Deadpool marketing. They marketed the crap out of X-Force. They marketed the crap out of Peter. They just, they blew this up so much, and then to have them all unceremoniously just die. You know, by a helicopter blade. Uh, nice cameo, by the way, Brad Pitt. And and you couldn't dodge those electrical cables. Uh, Peter, your death was gruesome, dude. Got to admit. <laughs> and uh, uh, well, what's the, what's the other guy who got in? in the TV? guy that spits. Uh, he went uh, to zeitgeist. the zeitgeist. Uh, zeitgeist who? <laughs> yes, he fell into the tree trimmer wood, thing or whatever. The, the wood chipper. The wood chipper. Like, and by the way, I think uh, the, the 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 two worst deaths you can possibly have as a humor human is one dying by fire and one dying by a wood chipper. So <laughs> yeah, that was, that was pretty nasty. But uh. the hu it was so funny. Um, probably one of my 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 most amazing reveal was the juggernaut. Yeah, that was surprising. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, you know, wait. The 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 scene where he's in the hallway complaining, and you see the X Men in there. Oh. <laughs> uh, you know, Beast closes the door. You're know, like, yes, they put I, I, in, they I, put in a few bucks for that. The the X Men cameo was probably the cameo to end all cameos. When you just when you just see them just. Quietly closing that door, like please don't see us. I, <laughs> I, I physically laughed out loud. Yeah. It was just so amazing. So I, I oh, so so Mike uh, of cameos are concerned. We have a uh, we have Matt Damon who was some redneck dude that I still don't remember saying. They, they we were on Brad the back Pitt. of the pickup truck, I believe. I mean, you can't. They were under heavy makeup. I mean, you can. Oh yeah 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 yeah. When cable first showed up. Yes. Uh, right, and then we have. Brad Pitt as Vanisher dying in the electrical electrical cables, and then we have the X Men slowly closing that door. What was your favorite cameo? Well, it's got to be the X Men. You know, X Men. I want to go back and pause that and just see. I'll, you know, I saw um, Quicksilver in there and Beast. Um, I saw Beast. I think Jean Grey was there too, and Cyclops. Uh, we'll we'll have to. I'm, I'm going to see this movie again, and I will definitely mentally lock in that image and. And find out for sure. So let's get back to um, Juggernaut. The Juggernaut. We we, we kind of went crazy there for a minute. I, I know. I'm still I'm still going nuts with this movie. 
I, I want to thank uh, X-Men 3 for, for creating such a dismal, horrifying juggernaut that the expectation was so low that any improvement on him would have been amazing. And Deadpool did not take advantage of that. They truly made an epic juggernaut. And and actually, I thought I would go my entire life without seeing his ass. And and yes, I, oh, I saw hilarious. Juggernaut's ass. And, and <laughs> that was, oh my God, that was so awesome. And just, well, well, uh, just the irreverent humor, you know, the sticking the electrical cable up his ass. <laughs> and I mean, really... <laughs> but 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 what's really cool though is we've only seen a handful of super super strength individuals fighting in Marvel superheroes. Um, you know we, we saw the scene between you know Thor and Hulk and both Ragnarok Ragnarok and um, and Avengers two. No, I'm sorry, Avengers one, uh, Hulk and Abomination. Um, but we haven't seen that many massively strong characters fighting and watching Colossus and Juggernaut duke it out was epic. I mean, they they were, they were dumping buses on each other. I mean, that was just so cool. And by the way, Juggernaut technically can kick Colossus's ass. He is so much stronger than Colossus. His invulnerability is so much higher than Colossus that the only way Colossus can beat Juggernaut is by fighting dirty and he fought dirty in that fight, and I want to give props to Colossus for a job well done. Uh, before we talk about the end credits, anything else you want to add to this movie? I was just blown away. I mean, we had our reservations that, what if it's not good? You know, what Dude, if this- no, 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 no. We did not have reservations. You did. <laughs> I, I was excited from, from the moment of this movie. Well, uh, I, I think we had a conversation once, like uh, the what if. I'm not saying you did. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not you, saying you, you did. Correct. I'm just saying no, what we, if. We, and it, all that aside, it delivered 100%. It was awesome. I would see it again. Uh, I'm going to obviously own it. You know, it was great. Uh, start to finish, I give it a 10. Uh, the, the only complaint I have is there were some serious moments in this movie, and it, it felt forced. You know, that'd be my only complaint. Uh, you're, you're going from this, you know, this roller coaster action moment, this this roller coaster, this is so effing funny. Oh, look, there's a baby's ass and a grown adult. I mean, I've never seen that before. Uh, but then there was these moments that were very serious, and it's like the, the brakes kind of hit. Let's talk about the end credit scene and the importance of that scene. I was just Deadpool making it right. And, you know, I, there seems to be a lot of uh, memes or, like, little videos and all this stuff with hearkening back to Wolverine X-Men Origins all the time. And this was a chance to where he's just said it right, you know. He shows up in the time and sh- kills that off, kills that other character, <laughs> that, that abomination of what those people try to oh make. Oh, my like, God, that was so that. awesome. I think, well, the two most important things was uh, he was able to save Vanessa. So she did Well, obviously, number one, yeah. Uh, number two is he saved Peter. Uh, of all the X-Force characters, he saved Peter. And I would not be surprised if we see Peter again in a uh, future X-Force Deadpool movie down the road. How do you feel about him killing uh, nineteen late nineteen nineties Ryan Reynolds? I think it was hilarious and very <laughs> justified. <laughs> oh, this will be a great movie! Bam! It was so awesome. But the thing is, though, the, the the one thing about Deadpool that 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 I love about him is his self awareness that he's in a comic book, uh, and his self awareness of breaking that fourth wall. And that ending credit scene was him shattering the fourth wall and just giving redemption to the fans for this amazing movie. So, Mike, uh, you gave this movie a 10. Uh, I'm going to give it a 9. Loved it. It had a couple minor flaws in my humble opinion. But it was a great movie and a movie that I will see again. So, hey, with that being said, guys, if you like this movie... If you like this review, hit that like button. And if you're not a subscriber and you want future content, hit the subscribe button. And hey, there's a little bell on the bottom. 
Click that and you get notifications of our future stuff. You do any of those things and Deadpool will not hunt you down and kill you like the piece of crap that you are. So Mike, with that being said, peace, peace out. out.